Page 3 of the sample test on chapter 5 has another log equation to solve. And these, there's a log of x plus the log of x plus 21, and it's adding, so we multiply these. So I'd have, to get it to be a single log, I'd have log, and these are both base 10, of x times x plus 21. The log of all of that equals 2. Now I have a single log equation with the x's in the log, and so I rewrite it as a power. Understood base 10, so 10 to the 2, which is 100, is going to equal this. To what power do I take 10 to get this? 10 to the 2 equals this. So 10 to the 2 is 100 equals x squared, multiplying this out, plus 21x. I have a quadratic. If I subtract 100, I get 0 equals x squared plus 21x minus 100. You could use the quadratic formula, but this factors. x and x. And i got to come up with stuff that multiplies to be 100 and subtract, because one's going to be plus and one's going to be minus. One's going to be plus and minus. I don't know which one, but these are the same, so I can just go plus and minus. And I want two numbers that multiply to be 100 and subtract to be 21. And I believe that's uh, 4 and, uh, oop, I want to be 4 and 25 will multiply to be 100, negative 100 with a negative 25. But this will make negative 25 and plus 4, and it's got to be plus 21, so I've got to be plus here and negative on the 4. And if I set each of those equal to 0, I get x equals 4 or negative 25. I'm dealing with logs, so I need to check my answer. Can I use negative 25 in here? No. Can I use 4 in here? That would be positive. This would be positive. So yes. So x equal 4 is the only solution to that one. Number 4. There is a radioactive isotope, and determine K, so there's a decay constant in here, the rate of decay, the kind of the uh, deal. So if we have this, it says if there's 2 grams, uh, 10 grams decays to 2 grams. So after T of 10 years, uh, T of Oop, boop, boop, boop. T is in days. This is supposed to be in days. That would be ugly otherwise. So I got a misprint in there. Let's make this 50 days, not 50 years. That would be tough to do. We could do it, but I don't want to. I, want to, I meant that to be days. So if A0 is, so the beginning is starting with 10 grams, E to the K, we don't know for this isotope. T, and this is in 50 days, so K times 50, and it ends up as 2 grams. So if we divide both sides by 10, we get uh, 1 fifth equals E to the KT, and uh, take K times 50, and we're trying to find this k for this particular isotope. This is now expo uh, exponential with the unknown in the exponent, so we change it to log. And this is base e, so it would be natural log. To what power do we take e to get 1 fifth? And that would be 50 days times the constant for this isotope. So I'm going to divide by 50. So I'm going to do ln, oops, ln one fifth divided by fifty, and I get a k, a decay constant. It's negative, so it's decay of negative 0 0.032. That's close enough to approximate. 
And so that's the K in this formula for this radioactive isotope for all the rest of the problems. So the equation now looks like the amount after some time is equal to the starting amount uh, e to the negative 0 0.032 and then number of days, t. So how much of 15 grams is still radioactive after five years? So if my new starting amount is 15 grams, I'll take 15 grams and then it says after, ooh, this is five years. I meant that to be five days. Actually, I probably should have just changed the top here to five to years. But anyway, let's keep these all the same units. So let's say day, days, days, and yeah, and this should be days. I should have just changed this to years. All right. So let's just say T is in days for all of these. So how much would be left? Well, I'm going to put in, and this was at B, it was in five days. So I put five in the exponent and 15 in here, and I'll work out to find out how much is left. So I'm going to go, starting with 15 this time, e to the negative point three two zero three two times five days and that ends up to being there would be twelve point seven eight grams and C in how many years will there be twenty percent still radioactive so like I talked about in class we're, all we need to be 20% left, um, this would have to be 20%. So I've got the equation, 20% is 0.2, I want to get e to the negative 0 0.032 times the number of days to be 0.2. And I could, this is an exponent, so I change it to a log equation. It's base e, so it would be natural log. To what power do I take e to get 0.2? And the answer is negative 0.032t. So I divide by negative 0.032, negative 0.032, and I get t to be ln 0.2, close parenthesis divided by uh, point zero, negative, negative point zero three two, and I get approximately 50 days, or 50 years if we change them all to years, whichever. And finally, what is the half-life of this asymptote? Not asymptote, isotope, isotope. What, what am I saying here? So then we want this to come out to be a half. So we just need to have 0.5 be e to this decay constant, negative 0 0.032 times this. This would give us the half-life. So I'm trying to find a power again, so I change it to a log, and it'd be ln.5 equals negative 0.032t, where t would be the half-life, divide by this, and so I'm going to have ln 0.5. I'm going to have exactly the same thing I had before, except now with a 0.5 there. And it comes out to be 21.66 days, since I'm doing this all in days. Okay, one more to go. So now I'm doing $600 invested in a compounded continuously, and I gave you the formula, at 4% rate. So how much is the count in the count after 10 years? So 600 is the initial investment, so the amount after 10 years is equal to the amount at the beginning, E, 
to the interest rate, which is 4% or 0 0.04 in decimal that you're supposed to use. And then t, t is 10 years times 10. So I'm just going to simply go 600 e to the 0 0.04 times 10. And I get there would be $895.00. Nine cents. Okay, how much is in the account after ten years? Did that. How long will it take for the account balance to go to a thousand? So now we're trying to solve when. When will that be a thousand? If we start with six hundred, e to the and the interest rate is point zero four, and how many years? Y or T or whatever you want to put there. So divide by the 600 first, and that gives me 10, 10, 6, or 5 thirds equals E to the 0 0.04 Y. This is a power equation, so base E, so I'm going to change it to a log. To what power do I take E to get 5 thirds? And the answer is. 0 0.04y. So I'm going to do this divided by 0 0.04. ln 5 thirds, all of that divided by 0 0.04. And, oop, I didn't get the divide in there. Insert divide. And it comes out to be 12.7. 12.8 years to change $600 to $1,000. And then how long for the balance to double? Well, to double, it doesn't matter what I start with. It This would have to be 2. So I'm try, uh, to try to get 2 to be e to the 0.04y. So it's going to be ln2 equals 0.04y and I'm going to get pretty much the same thing we had as before except this will be now 2. ln2 divided by 0 0.04 and that is 17.3 years. And that's the chapter 5 sample test. Sorry about the mess up on the days and years there on number 4.